30 December will be pink January. <laughs> January is the longest month of the year for many people, me inclusive. It is not because it has more calendar days than other months, obviously not. Neither there are only 31 calendar days, but each day feels like two. <laughs> to many, January has 60 days or even 100 days. Someone also said 200 days in a month. The reason for this is not far-fetched. January is the month that follows the jollification month of December. The dirty December. With so many parties to attend, gifts to share, restaurants and hangout spots to visit, December ranks as the highest spending month of the year. Also, salaries are typically paid very early in December than in other months to allow for the plenty jollification. The implication of this is that many people are left with little or nothing to spend in January. Unfortunately, salaries are paid at the end of the month in Nigeria. People tend to wait eagerly for payday by the second week of January, some even the first. So, how do we avoid this sweep in January? 1. Plan your December income very well. Most would be paid by next week. Some have already been paid. Try not to spend everything in, Je in December. 2. Save, obviously. 3. Spend, but not frivolously. Seek discounts, take advantage of sales promotions to buy these lovely gifts for your loved ones. You don't have to attend all the concerts. Leave some for next year. Finally, invest. Invest what you have saved. As funny as it sounds, there are still valid and profitable investment opportunities. However, look, study, research before you, you leap or make that investment. Happy New Year in advance, first of all. Guys, what do you think? <laughs> Speaking of uh, many the parties you attend and why you know that, <laughs> in the last one week, I've been, I've been looking for a, a valid reason to avoid a traditional marriage that I was meant to attend somewhere in those days. <laughs> because when I do that, you're going to have serious implications yeah. for January. So it's a very um, tricky month, and we all look forward to it. And it comes with so much uh, responsibilities. Um, because of how the system, the family system is structured in Nigeria, depending, you have to, you understand, it's something we cannot run away from insofar as um, God, um, you're able to find a place to earn one or two cobble to assist and also you, you put smiles on people's faces. But there should be some bit of moderation so that you don't do dirty December in, in December, I come back weeping in January. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's it for me. Yeah, so this is an age-long problem mm. for everybody that earns or has responsibility. I think it's also entrenched in our culture because there's so much expectation at the end of the year. Yeah. I mean, there's funeral commitments, mm. wedding commitment, like the one you have in your mm. state. I hope they're not watching the one. Somewhere <laughs> you don't attend when you find out you don't attend. You don't. And there's so many expectations. The kids have to wear nice clothes. They have to go yeah. to places you want to rest. Yeah. So I think it's actually difficult not to spend in mm -hmm. December. But from what uh, Ruth said, we need to plan yeah. for the week in January. We need to save, keep some money aside, because this is a pattern. We can't keep complaining every January that we're broke. Mm -hmm. So now that you know you're going to be broke in January, keep something aside mm -hmm. so you're not in that weeping. You can be in the sad category, but not the weeping mm -hmm. category. <laughs> Yes, uh, that's what that was my take. So you've already said it all in my opinion in terms of how to mitigate yeah. against the whipping January. But and this is even the month that black tax is highest. Yeah. Because you're going to it's compounded. Mm -hmm. Give us the big sum, mm -hmm. you know, especially when you have dependence and all that. Yeah. But what has always worked for me, funny enough, December is a month where I don't even get to spend a lot as it's supposed to be. Now here's where I'm coming from. <laughs> it's Tell funny. Us. Can I be Tell us? <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> So why it's like that is, I think I always learn to pay myself first. Mm -hmm. I always, there's nothing you can do about it. Right? There are some things that I've postponed to January. And oftentimes, we always think that things cannot wait. Mm -hmm. Things can actually wait. Because yeah. we think about it, if what I'm going to give you money for, you found yourself in the hospital, you'll be asking me money for that particular thing. So the thing is, 
I try to pay myself first. So when I pay myself first, whatever is left, I plan around that. And there's, there's, there's nothing literally that you want to say, I'm not going to go break my emergency or my, my savings. So I pay myself first. And I, was, I mean, I was going to say, I learn not to create emergency by myself. And I'll give an example. My car was making some funny sounds at some time, you know, in September. I knew what it was. I'm like, um, I'm going to work it out. I'll call my mechanic. So I was postponing that. So when the thing broke down, I paid three times of what I was supposed to pay before. So I was saying, no, it's an emergency. It wasn't an emergency. I knew I should have avoided that. So this December, there's going to be a lot of emergency, self-created emergency spending. People say, oh, it's an emergency, I have to buy it. Oh, I have to purchase it. And when we get to January, there's really nothing. So when I pay myself first, any other story you're saying, that's your problem. I, I yeah. think, I think um, in addition to that, the fact that um, there's, the, there's the mentality that, even for ourselves, there's that mentality that, oh, this is, I've, I've worked all the, I've worked a lot from January to now, I need to enjoy right and process of enjoying you are spending yeah. you're spending some in some instances spending things money that you've not even earned some people are going to enter a lot of debt mm -hmm. this year this period mm -hmm. because there are a lot of loan apps access to loan is becoming easy yeah. so they're really going to enter a lot of debt at this point mm -hmm. so i feel at the end of the day if you want to not be in the whipping category in january you should start even cautioning your own spend as well as the spend on others as well so that you can plan it it's, it's such, i know some people say okay it's impossible to do certain things there's some, some things that are essential but there's some things that are not you don't have to go for every concert sure. like you don't sure. all of these concerts cost you money yeah. and you know you don't have it so you don't have to go for everything yeah. you don't have to follow the crowd you don't have to please your friends just yeah. in order to maintain a perception yeah. so you have to you know what you you know what you need you know you're going to be bearing this cost in january so you should be able to work towards it and and plan towards it as well I so totally agree yeah thank you so we thank you for your attention while the program lasted we hope our conversation resonated with you and that in some small way encourage you to contribute to your immediate environment little drops of water they say makes a mighty ocean don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel plus tv africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Join us next week, same time on this station. Let's keep advocating for a better society. See you next time.